Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will take you through history of Goa and today's places of interest to visit. Goa is India's smallest state. It is located on India's southern coast. The state of Goa has a total size of 3,702 square kilometers (1,429 square miles). As of 2021, it had a population of 1.6 million people, making it India's fourth smallest state by population. The capital of Goa is Panji. It is located in the Tiswadi sub-district on the shores of the Mandovi River estuary. Panji is Goa's largest urban agglomeration, with a population of 1,20,000 in the metropolitan region. The 105-kilometer coastline of mainland Goa is characterized by sandy beaches, estuaries, and promontories. Low, forested plateaus blend with the western Ghats wooded slopes in the interior, which climb to over 1,220 meters on the state's eastern border. The Mandavi and the Zuwari are the two major rivers, with the island of Goa lying between their mouths Ilhas. The island is triangular in shape, with the apex known as the Cape being a rocky headland that divides Goa's harbour into two anchorages. Although Goa's history extends back to prehistoric times, the current state of Goa was only created in 1987. Despite being India's smallest state in terms of land, Goa has a vast and varied history. It has many parallels to Indian history, particularly in terms of colonial influences and a multicultural aesthetic. The Uslima rock engravings, which date from the Upper Paleolithic or Mesolithic periods, show some of India's oldest signs of human settlement. During the Iron Age, the Mauryan and Satavahana Empire ruled over modern-day Goa. Goa was ruled by the Kadamba dynasty, Vijayanagara Empire, Bamani Sultanate, and Bijapur Sultanate during the medieval period. In 1510, the Portuguese invaded Goa and defeated the Sultanate of Bijapur. The Portuguese occupation lasted approximately 450 years and had a significant impact on Goan culture, food, and architecture. After a 36-hour fight, the Indian Army invaded and captured Goa in 1961. Goa was granted statehood in 1987. Goa is visited by large numbers of international and domestic tourists each year because of its white sand beaches, active nightlife, places of worship, and World Heritage listed architecture. Goa is a state in western India with coastlines stretching along the Arabian Sea. Its long history as a Portuguese colony prior to 1961 is evident in its preserved 17th century churches and the area's tropical spice plantations. Goa is also known for its beaches, ranging from popular stretches at Baga and Palalam to those in laid-back fishing villages such as Agonda. Goa has long provided a haven for those in search of the sun, sand and sea. Boasting 105 kilometers of stunning coastline and an endless list of idyllic beach settings, there's no surprise so many people flock to Goa for their beach holidays. The laid-back and picturesque state is all about relaxation, and in fact, the only stress you're likely to encounter is in choosing which beach to visit during your holiday in Goa. The famous beaches in Goa are Mohim, Baga, Kandalim or Kalongute, Sinkyorim, Arosim, Majoda, Benolim or Varka, Moga, Kola, or Palalam. Goa 
Goa not only attracts the visitors for its fun-loving atmosphere, but it is also thronged by visitors who are interested to know its history and love to explore its rich heritage. The popular churches of Goa are must-visit sites for every tourist. Some tourists visit such religious places for spirituality while others just love to explore such sites. Well, whatever the reason is, you must visit top 5 churches in Goa while spending your vacation in this party land. Top 5 Churches You Cannot Miss Basilica of Bom Jesus Say Cathedral, Church of Our Lady of the Mount, Church of St. Kajetan or Mayde Deus Church. The Basilica of Bom Jesus is a Roman Catholic Basilica in Goa that is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Goa's churches and convents. The Basilica houses the mortal remains of St. Francis Xavier and is located in Old Goa, the historic capital of Portuguese India. In Portuguese colonized areas, the Eke Homo is known as Bom Jesus literally, Good or Holy Jesus. The Jesuit Church is India's first minor basilica and is regarded as one of the country's outstanding specimens of Baroque and Portuguese colonial architecture. It is one of the world's seven wonders of Portuguese origin. Dubsagar Falls is a four-tiered waterfall in the Indian state of Goa. Located on the Mandovi River. With a height of 310 meters and an average width of 30 meters, it is one of India's tallest waterfalls. Chapura Fort, located in Bades, Goa, rises high above the Chapura River. The site was the location of a fort built by Muslim ruler Adil Shah called Shapura, whose name the Portuguese altered to Chapura. The Chapura Fort has been held by many rulers over the last few centuries. It was established by Muhammad Adil Shah who ruled the Bijapur dynasty between 1627 and 1656. He erected the fort here to prevent attacks by the Hindu raiders. The town was called Shapura or Town of the Shahs after Adil Shah at the time. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.